Hey, Diesel. You tired? Yeah. So the time has come. Diesel's been uh, declining quickly. Very quickly, actually. Uh, he can't get up. Sorry, Diesel. He can't get up by himself anymore. He's never liked it if I touch his paws. <laughs> right up to his last day. He's, Don't touch my paws, man. He, uh, he can't stand for more than maybe 30 seconds to a minute at the most, and he collapses. He can't uh, go to the bathroom outside anymore. He collapsed this morning into his mess. Into his own mess. And he can't stand up. He's in. He's on, on some painkillers right now. But and, they're not uh, doing enough. His back hips are are gone. <laughs> given up so he this morning we had to literally pick him up and put him on his feet to get him to go outside and then he, he sort of stumbles you sort of have to guide him so that he doesn't fall down <laughs> so today he's going to sleep in a couple of hours yeah you're tired right It's been a very rough morning for us. It's been a rough few weeks knowing that this was coming, but now that it's actually here, it's probably the most heart-wrenching day we've literally ever had. Hey, big guy. Still handsome, though. Yeah. So handsome. We didn't think it would be so quick. We thought we had another Christmas. This patch here on his stomach, that's from his EKG from it was a couple of years ago already, I think, and it never grew back. Yeah, that's not an injury or anything. Yeah, he has a, a heart murmur that they were keeping an eye on. But, you know, I got him when he was 10 weeks old before I even met Britt. He's, he turned 13 in August of this year, and today is November, is it November 4th today? I think so. It's November, beginning of November 2024 anyways, and had him since October 26th, I believe, or 23rd, because on the 26th we left on our first trip together on the road, <laughs> and he was with me every day, 24 hours a day, in the truck on the road for... Nine years? Uh, nine years, and then uh, by that time I was married to Britt, and she fell in love with him, and he's a big reason why she married me. A very big reason. <laughs> <laughs> the secret is divulged now. Diesel, it was you, buddy. You got me my wife. It was you, man. <laughs> <laughs> so without you, I wouldn't have anything. Anything that makes me happy. Everything that makes me happy today is tied to you. Yeah, buddy. He's going to leave the biggest void you could ever imagine in this house. My, I've had him now for four years at home, my constant companion, and uh, life is going to be very different now. Yeah. After the nine years of him being on the road with me, he retired. He was he was getting older then already. By that time, uh, uh, he was having a little bit of trouble getting up into the truck. We had gotten him those stairs already, and then. Uh, and we decided it was time for him to just, you know, enjoy the last years of his life at home. Enjoy family comfort. Yeah. yeah. Running in the yard with his brother as much as he could. He did it for a few years. Yeah. And this last summer, uh, he got to sit out in the yard and bask in the sun. All as much as possible. Hours at a time, as long as it wasn't too hot for him. Yeah. He loved it. He's a sun sponge. He's lived a really good life. Yeah, haven't you? Yes, you have. A life most dogs couldn't even imagine. You've been all over the place. You've been to every U.S. state. Aside from Alaska and Hawaii, we never got to go there. That's okay. The ocean's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And every province and territory in Canada, except none of what. It's because they don't have roads. 
Otherwise, we would have gone there, too. Having none of it. Yeah. So today is... Today is the day. It's been 13 years, buddy. It's even hard for him to breathe here right now. We're leaving for the vet right away. He's going to be put to sleep. You have been the perfect boy. Brought a lot of happiness to my life, buddy. You did good. You brought a lot of happiness to a lot of people's lives, but especially mom and dad. Thanks for being you, buddy. Thanks for everything. You did lots for me. We love you. We love you. Come on, buddy. Come on. Time to go for a ride. Come on. I know. Here. Let's get out of your way. Give you some space. Hey, Diesel, come on. I got you. I got you. Chevy, not now. I know, you're very upset. Want some water? You good? All right, Diesel, we got you in here. It was kind of difficult to get him up in here. He did not want to be picked up. He's in pain. Oh, sorry, Diesel. Britt did it. She did a good job. If there was an easier way, we would have done it, buddy. Okay, let's go. You can lay down now, Diesel. Relax, buddy. There. Hey Diesel. I hey, wish buddy. I wish this last ride could have been in a semi truck. Yeah. That would have been a pretty amazing send off, but that wouldn't have been okay for his heart. No. I had too much anxiety. I wish he could have come with for one more trip. It'd be impossible for me to get him in and out of the truck all the time. He'd just be laying there bouncing around. It'd very painful for him. So we're just stopping by Tim Hortons to uh, send him off with some good Tim bits, just like we did for Big Frank not too long ago. Less than three months. So we'll give him his Tim bit treat and then we gotta head over there and let him stretch his legs a little bit if he wants to in their grass area outside their facility. And then once his room is ready, we'll take him inside. Uh, I don't think I need anything. Bert's gonna go inside, let him know that we're here. And we'll wait out here until the room is ready. You doing okay, bud? Oh, it's so hard to do. So many memories that come flying through your head. Memory of when I first got him. <laughs> Memory of when he got away from me once. 
<laughs> I lived in a small town called Il Deschain when I got him in that house trailer. And uh, <laughs> I left him in the yard once. And uh, uh, he usually stayed in the yard. He had a little fenced in the area too. But he had gotten out. He got out of the yard and I didn't realize it right away. Oh, and I panicked. He's probably like a year old. I went searching all across town for him. It's not that big of a town, but it's a little town. <laughs> An hour later, I find him sitting at the bar on the other side of town with the police. <laughs> the police had him there. He was just hanging out, having a good time. They were about to call me because my, my name was on his uh, collar, right? But I got him back then, and they, the police took good care of him. Those are the RCMP, so thank you to them who took, found him and took care of him. Yeah. After that, I was uh, I kept a much closer eye on him. I was just telling him about the time that he uh, got out, and uh, I found him at the bar with the cops. With his drinking buddies. <laughs> <laughs> just hanging out. They are just having a good time. So they, they found him there, and we are just... Taking care of him until uh, until I came to get him. Well, Remember when we went to Alabama and then we got a phone call that he was up on my mom's dining room table and destroyed her window sills. That's right. And didn't oh he ripped down her curtains and bent her curtain rod in half too. Oh he was wild. He was wild. You were a wild one, weasel. <laughs> wild child. Diesel lord of all weasels, and he was a weasel. He was a wild ace, mm. that's for sure. Ah oh, yeah. It was about well, around about the time when I, when he went off the road. Just before that, he started slowing down a little bit. Matured. And he he would get up on the counters. Yup. He would be bouncing the, all over the place. In the old house, the big house on the big property in the country there. Mm -hmm. Right up on the counters, we'd find like things knocked off the counters and like nail marks. I'm like what is going on? Then we caught him one day. <laughs> On the counters. On yeah. the counter. Those were high too. Those were made oh, for yeah. tall people. I had trouble yeah. cooking on those. They were like up to here on me. Just boing. <laughs> Shut That's up. when he always had the tippy tappies, what Britt called them. Yeah, the tippy tappies. Whenever he was excited. Yeah, he'd always smile and he'd try to stand still in one spot, but his little little feet would tippy tappy. Oh, that was my favorite. So many favorite things with him. Always so many. happy. I remember like years ago before our wedding when I was trying to lose weight then and I was going on my daily walks every day and uh, he was so wild, he would pull so hard, he, he never walked well on a leash, <laughs> but he would just have so much energy and I'd have to walk four kilometers, minimum. or like minimum, like almost three miles, well three miles would be five kilometers, but like two and a half miles with him before he would finally slow down to my pace. And I would already be walking at a fast pace. And then after a short nap, boing. Yep. <laughs> right back at it. Tons of energy. He lived a wonderful life. Yeah. We went to California together a couple of times for VidCon. Yeah. And he came with us down there when we went to Disneyland and stuff. Yukon. He went up to Yukon territory. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, went to Florida with me. Everything in between. I miss Went to Newfoundland over the ferry. He always used to lay in the bathroom whenever I would take a bath. He would lay in there and listen to spa music with me and just have the naps of his life. He just loves folk and spa music. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Oh treats. Ooh. It's not steak, but a kimbit? No. What if I put it right there? You don't want me holding it? I thought so. He's an independent man. I thought so. <laughs> One bite and it's gone? Oh, it's still in there. <laughs> yeah, maybe rip them in half. Help <laughs> you want me to rip it in half, Diesel? That's a lot. Here. It's a big mouth. Oh, there you go. There you go, buddy. Yummers. Mmm. There you go. Dessert fit for a lord. Good boy. There's more of that where that came from, buddy. Diesel has always gotten a plethora of treats because he's our best behaved boy. <laughs> Didn't used to be. Right, I Diesel? still always gave him more treats than everybody <laughs> else. <laughs> There's another one right here. You filling up? 
One last one. Last one, buddy. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Yeah, it's one more here. One more. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Delicious. It's getting a little dry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get him some water. Some water here? Ooh. There you go, bud. Some water? No. He can do it on his own. There you go, bud. So we're gonna have to pick him up out of here, and he really doesn't like being picked up. He was, uh... Fighting. Fighting it before. Do what we gotta do. We'll see if he wants to go for a little bit of a walk around here yet. If not, then we'll see if he can walk inside. There's a nice ramp there. The ramp, Daisy. This way. This way. Come on. This way. Come on, Daisy. That's a nice ramp. That's way better than my ramp. <laughs> Be a little more spaced. <laughs> He even had a trouble stepping up onto a ledge this big just for the scale so that they could weigh him. Oh, it hurts, buddy. I know. All your friends are here. Ready to say goodbye to the vlogs? Ready to say goodbye, Diesel? Thanks for all the memories.
You guys love each other. <laughs> Get him. Weasel. Get him. Get him, Frank. They just love each other. Diesel wants to get in there, but he's too big. He scares the puppy. Frankie, have you been defeated by an eight-week-old puppy? Play with me, play with me! <laughs> Did you say mom? Did you say mom? Oh boy, oh boy, why is mom here? Is mom here? Is mom coming? When's she gonna be here? When's she gonna be? Oh, I'm so excited. I, I miss mom. Are you a happy boy? Well, your brother's not happy. He's inside. Get you. Ah! Jesus. <laughs>